Hello everyone, welcome to my NetSec YouTube channel. Previously, I installed the Nextcloud in my virtual environment. As you can see from the screen, this is my Nextcloud. It's working beautiful. There's a challenge for me is uh, I'm trying to get Google Drive mounted into Nextcloud. Officially, it's not supported. I can show you my settings right now. I already installed um, external storage support and with Google Drive. So you can see Google Drive is here. That is coming from search. You can find out the Google Drive external storage support for Google Drive. I already enabled that. You, if you, you want to try this app, just search for it and then download enable and it will list it as your active apps and then you will get that option in the settings external storage page you will get this google drive so what i did is um, i followed the guide google drive add storage google drive and then i copy the client id i'll show you that console my account login i create a credential i i finished the all auth consent screen i even did the domain verification all those steps i finished that and uh, i create the two different APIs, credentials, and uh, here's the one I'm going to copy over. Unfortunately, I got the execution mark, grant access, we're not going anywhere. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Um, so it doesn't work so i'm thinking maybe i can mount it as a local drive and do that because the smb client wasn't installed i installed it by myself through portainer i can show you that um, so apt install smb client done so um you maybe wanna to try apt update then to apt install smb client just do it again apt install great and then you may want to reboot your machine. Restart. It will take a couple of seconds and then it will fresh up and then you will get SMB, CIFS and uh, local options to add it um, so the server this is my Ubuntu server uh, I would like to create um, I just logged in I'd like to create a home folder called GD Drive and and then touch uh, test.txt file and then I put a couple of things here so I'm gonna mount this drive GD drive into the docker so I'm gonna use the portainer to do that Duplicate and add it. This is our next next cloud container. And it's volume 
Uh, one thing we need to find out the location. So I already find it. So what I can do is I can just map an additional volume. Um, let me double check the data location. Containers, next cloud, connect. So this data folder. You can see all data is here. So we can mount into under this folder. That's what we can do. Copy. Come back here. So we can mount it to data. Select a volume. Now we're going to bind, which is on home folder. GGI. Right? So deploy this container. We're going to remove replace the existing one and uh, get a new one with this mountain okay let's go in there to take a quick look the mountain data should be uh, GD Jarvis here perfect exit um, then we come back to our next cloud we're gonna create in a folder called GD Drive. Add storage as local location, which is G Drive. Save it. Copy the permission issue for G drive. It's only root. We need to change it to www data. So go back here. Look, change the permission, and come back to settings. One more thing to change. Drive. Let's get the local folder name. Yeah. Okay, now it's perfect. So it's good now, and then we can go back to dashboard. Look at the files. can see G drive here. Okay, we saved it. And we go back to our Linux to check this file.
whatever changed in the next cloud it was saved here so last step we can uh, using our Chrome to mount Google Drive to this drive so then they can talk to each other We gonna install our Chrome, so actually it's very simple. Uh, just our Chrome to Y. And we do our Chrome config. Let's do new remote. GD. Seven is Google Drive, so we need to do seven. Leave blank for client ID and the client secret. We're gonna choose no. Then we need to go to following line. To do authentication. Allow our clone to access to it. Yes the code we need to copy back for verification just make sure we copied everything then we pass Q to quit quick command to mount the our drive, so we're gonna use in GD. We're gonna use in loop folder. Our local folder will be home. GD drive. That's fine. So we're gonna unmount it first because we tried it many times. And then we open the second session. So you can see it has been mounted. We want to make make sure we can see the um, content in uh, GT Drive. Okay, and we're gonna go back to our container. Make sure we can see that as well. There's a GD drive here. As well. Let's reboot the system. I believe it's because of the cache. So once we pull the system, the new folder gonna be 
mount it again and the whole cached file has been cleaned out and we should be able to see tools folder let's go to login Tools folder is here and uh, we come back to our files GD drive tools ah. That's all files in in my tools folder, and as you can see from next drive, now I can see all my Google Drive files. That's the steps I'm taking to mount it my Google Drive to our next cloud. There's one more thing you may want to do is you may want to put this command into the service. System MD creating on that. Um, yeah, we can do that. Let me show you. We can cancel this, stop that. Okay. Okay, after we we have to clean it up and then the service can come up by itself, we have to clean this drive um because once you mount it and then you disconnect it, this uh, mounting point is kind of has been used. You have to unmount it. Can't you see? We are not cleaned it out clearly. That's a problem. So, yeah, once you created these services and then that, uh, that's the Acron can automatically mount it into your Linux Ubuntu server. And the uh, next cloud will have access to it, so we should be able to connect to it. We 
may need to reboot our container. GTGI tools, how to really boot it, then system come back to normal. It's block tools. That's what I want to show you today for this mounted Google Drive to Next Cloud. Thank you for watching.